So I'm going to start off with clear water on the pipe, 15 by 11, 130 pound cold pressed Fabriano. And this is a bit of raw sienna, just scuffing it about really. No real order to it. Little dry bits they had in there just to add a bit of bit of interest. Clean the brush, take the excess off on a bit of towel into some ultramarine. Just push that in, something like that. I'm watching all the bits coming down the paper, just soaking them up as I go along. Just tip that down to the bottom a bit, and then I'm going to go into Glycerin Crimson and Payne's Grey. And just bash a few clouds in as well. Something like that. A few uh, lighter bits in there. Soak up the bottom, the water that accumulates at the bottom of the paper. And then while the paper's still wet, I'm going into all the sky colours. Put in the distant mountain over there, and then while it's still wet, you can see how it just blends in nicely. So, just a bit of snow on the top by cleaning the brush, and just so it's nice and damp and clean, no water on it, and then just Add a bit of structure to the thing, just looks like a bit of, bit of snow accumulating there. Should put any more in? That'll do, don't want to overdo it. That's enough of that. Now there's a tree line next, so I'm gonna lemon yellow, Payne's grey, nice and dark. And it starts up there somewhere. Just using the corner of the brush, that's going right up to the top. It's also coming and down there, and also comes up here, this side, and sort of meets down the bottom somewhere like that. Clean the brush, and I want a sort of raw sienna. Bit of light, bit of green in there. Clean it again, I want it a bit lighter still. No, just raw sienna on its own this time. Now, there's going to be a path. Before I get to the path, I'll just continue with this bit. Just bearing it as I come down the page. Clean the brush. As soon as it gets too dark, just clean the brush. Dry it. And then you can get nice and light again. And I'm going to put the path in there because I'm going light red. Ultramarine, light red. Nice little pathy colour. I don't want it too wet because I want it to break. I'm just taking the excess off on a tissue I've got down there. Yeah, something like that. See how it's broken a little bit there. Oh dear. Now that's in, I can bring the, uh, the land up to the path. Burnt on back, also marine, just being it, which is a bit too wet at the moment. Same on the other side, raw sienna, light red, also marine, burnt on back, 
just work your way around the pallet, a bit of everything. Just the, the secret is basically to get variation. You don't want one big uniform colour because it just looks boring. Nice and dark by the pack. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this tight. It's out of paper stretched. So now it's nice and flat. I can take a little piece of card and let's just scrape a few rocks in. So let's. I don't want to overdo this, but probably will. Have a big one there. That'll do. Maybe even flick a few up, but see the grass is just flick it up like that. It's a grass. Again, I always like everything. Looks best when you keep it subtle. Um, I might do, give that a quick dry. the rigger. I don't need the hike anymore now. Switch to the rigger, number three rigger. Um, little, do the little figure. So I'm just going straight into light red. It's going to be, I'm going to put him somewhere like that. I think. Now I'm just going to do his shoulders. And I'm just going to go into some blue. Put his trousers and stuff. His head on there, and then a bit of, bit of brown as well, something on his back, and need a bit darker, back into that blue. Needs a little backpack on. And then where's he been walking? It's like a little, a little shadow in there, something like that. With a couple of birds, I think. Where should we put them? Um, let's just stick them up there. Again. Something like that. And then pick a quiet corner. Let's go down there. Copy signature in. And I'll call that one finished. Right, let's have a, have a closer look at it. So there's our painting. So as usual, started off with the sky, played down a sort of raw sienna, then put the light blue in, and then we had this alizarin crimson, Payne's grey mix with the clouds, and then took some of the lighter clouds out with the tissue. Always put your distant land in the same colours as the sky. Here we've got our mountains, took off the snow areas with a clean, damp brush, and then we've got our profile of trees all the way down the hillside here, all the way across the other side. Flat bit of land but can keep it interesting by just constantly varying the colour. Predominantly sort of raw sienna, well go through all the green colours, raw sienna light, um, yellow, lemon yellow, ultramarine, bit of burnt umber, all sorts in there. Get the nice dark areas in and scrape them out with a a card, get this nice sort of rock effect. Quick sweep for the path, few rocks on the side, and then a little figure in there, just pulling very simply with the number three rigger, little dot for the head. Some kind of shadow or tracks where he's been walking from. The illusion's gone place. 
A few little birds in the sky just helps add a bit of life to the thing. Well there we go again, I hope you like that. Thanks for watching, keep practicing. Any questions please don't hesitate to ask and I'll see you again soon.